Hey guys and welcome. In this video I want to show you a application, introduce you to InShort. InShort by uh, Drury Shortkey. It is a great application and I've found it to be very handy for process execution. If you're any any kind of work where you need to do uh, and follow a process for your business uh, actions or processes, this is a great tool. Let me show you an example. I've got a process template set up. I've got a folder where my templates go. I've only got one process here, support process. Let's take a look at what that support process looks like and you can see I'm just digging into or diving into each one of these sub processes. Now this support process uh, has me log a ticket and after I've logged a ticket I'm 25% done with this process. Then I go on to contact the user and then we make a decision. Is this an issue? If it is, fix the issue. And after I've fixed the issue, this is 100%. Or the process could take a diff different path. Is this an issue? No. Um, well then, maybe I can just close the ticket. And so that's 100% complete after I've done that step. And you can see, um, let me go ahead and let me show you how I would run this template. So I would go into my templates as soon as I got a ticket or a call from a customer with a complaint and I would make a copy of this this guy. So let me go ahead and copy this guy. I'm going to copy him. There's a number of different ways I can go but I've got a folder called ongoing processes. You can see my tickets are there and I'll just make another copy here of the support process template and I'll rename it. I'll give it a name of whatever my ticket number is 103 uh, let's say. And so now I can get in execution mode and I can go start running that. So let me go ahead and say that I've logged the ticket and I contacted the user so that's halfway done but they haven't called me back and so now I've got to go do something, got to eat lunch. I come back, I start working on my my current tickets. Maybe I finish uh, ticket 102 or maybe I finish one, um, start working on 101 but it doesn't matter. As soon as I come back to 103, I can pick up where I left off. So I'll say I've finished contacting the user and no, this isn't an issue, so I close the ticket. And you can see now that the whole process for that ticket is complete and you can see um, the color of that changed. So now I've got a green instead of a, a red. So that's how you use it in a nutshell. There's a user guide that kind of takes you through all of the elements it talks about editing a uh, diagram. There's all kinds of different um, icons that you can use and different um, support actions. So if we take a look here, there's something called a common process, information process, logistic. So it kind of follows the uh, methodology defined. You can add time buffers if you need to delay after a certain step. You can do that. You can even have uh, processes, so for example, in a template, let me go into this one. If I had a template where I needed to kind of go in a loop, I could do that and exit after a certain number of uh, iterations. So it's a really nice tool. I really find it useful for anything where I have to manage a set of processes and follow the process. Again, that's in short, and it's out on the. Uh, it's for Mac, for iPhone and iPad.